In this video, we will make our sprite glide. Let's get started. The first thing I will do is delete the default sprite, which is the cat. I will click on the scissors icon and then click on the cat. Done. Now, before I get a new sprite, let me walk you through the stage area. You can imagine this area as a grid with different values in the horizontal or x-axis and vertical or y-axis. For instance, the center of the stage area has values x is equal to 0 and y equal to 0. Here's a new point which is at x is equal to 100 and y equal to 100. Here's another point which is at negative 150x and 50y. Let me put up one more point on the grid for you to analyze. Okay, so now that we know that the stage area is made up of different x and y values, I'm going to remove this imaginary grid. By the way, an easy way to figure out these values is by moving the mouse pointer over the stage area. When you do this, you will see the xy values of the current location of the mouse pointer. Alright, now let's go get a new sprite for our project. Click on the new sprite icon. Scroll down to find your favorite sprite. I will select Coast 1 and then click OK. Next, I will grab the Glide block. And then, I will specify where exactly on the grid I want the coast to glide. Let's say the X value is 100 and Y value is also 100. You can add as many glide blocks as you want. I will add one more here. Then, I will grab a green flag block. Now when I click on the green flag, the coast glides to a new location on the grid. Finally, do you think you can add some spooky music to this animation?